for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot doing day four of the Madden 23 ratings releases. Today, I'm going to be going over the newly released defensive tackles, the secondary, which is going to be cornerbacks and safeties. I'm also going to show you guys the highly rated rookies. Other than that, if you guys want to keep up with this, there's one more day of this. I mean, there's quarterbacks tomorrow, which is probably going to be the biggest, most controversial day. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go right into the video. Now, starting off from the top, we have Aaron Donald coming in at 99. That's pretty much what he gets every single year. It's not really a surprise. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move past him. But another 99 club member. Other than that, I mean, we had to do this kind of weird. I had to, this is on EA's official site. I had to include defensive ends because they're doing a, a list with three, four defensive ends as well as defensive tackles. So we got to kind of pick and choose our guys. It looks like the number two guy is going to be Cameron Hayward. He's the he's a three, four defensive end. So he's number two on, on as far as Madden's concerned. Defensive tackles are three, four defensive ends. However you want to look at this. Vita Vail coming in third. Jonathan Allen coming in fourth. Uh, and then we have to move down quite a bit to Chris Jones, who to me is, should be, I mean, I don't know why they don't give Chris Jones a little bit of a faster uh, rating so he can be a little more consistent of a pass rush, because to me he's one of the best pass rushers out of all these guys. Then you got DeForest Buckner coming in. We have to move on to the next list. I don't have any complaints. I don't really care. It's defensive tackles. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about the order of these guys. On the next list, we got Kenny Clark. Then we have Fletcher Cox coming in at 88. Fletcher Cox has really fallen off, and it's reflected in this uh, list. Then you have Jeffrey Simmons, who I think Jeffrey Simmons should actually be rated higher if i had to complain about one guy jeffrey simmons is a monster he should probably be closer to a 90 by now that guy's a really good player michael pierce calias campbell deron Payne. other than that i really don't have any complaints now i almost forgot to show you guys the rookies and i gotta be honest i'm an eagles fan i love what i'm seeing out of jordan davis this guy right here he looks like he's going to be an absolute beast right away 78 overall that's one of the highest rated rookies in the game 80 speed uh which is way higher than i was expecting i know in some of the um, you know, the ones you can download in franchise mode, Madden 22. He didn't crack 80. He was like 78, 79. So happy to see that he cracked an 80. Also, 87 acceleration, which is really nice. And 96 strength. This guy is going to be immovable against the run. So, definitely excited about Jordan Davis. The only other guy that was drafted in the first round was his teammate. He went to uh, D Georgia as well, Devontae Wyatt. 80 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 strength, uh, 73 overall. Big difference. They were only drafted about, what, 10, 10 spots apart or something like that? But you can see the difference as far as rating. All right, so this is probably what a lot of people are waiting for, cornerbacks. Th this year, no 99 club member, no Jalen Ramsey, no, um, you know, nobody making a 99 club this year from cornerback. And I hate to be that guy, but it almost feels like Jalen Ramsey's Super Bowl performance is the reason he didn't crack a 99. Uh, I mean, it's only one point, but he did kind of have, you know, some bad moments in that Super Bowl, uh, which really, to me, like I said, what else could it be? Because he had a pretty good year. I'm pretty sure he, you know, does what he always does. But you can see, Still number one rated cornerback. Still really not that bad at all. Jair Alexander coming in at number two. I don't think he's ever been rated that high as the number two cornerback. I could be wrong about that though. I'm not, you know, I don't have yet last year's with me, but I'm pretty sure that he was never rated as high as number two. Shadavius White, number three. I like those top three. I'm not going to lie. I really do. Number four, Darius Slay. Now, that, now I'm really enjoying this because he is not getting that type of love anywhere else, but to be number four in Madden ratings, I'm very excited for. Denzel Ward coming in at number five. Um, um, you know, all these cornerbacks are very good. Marshawn Lattimore coming in at six. Uh, Stephen Gilmore coming in at seven. I think Stephen Gilmore, I don't know if he's falling off or what, but it's surprising to still see him that high. Um, he doesn't get talked about as much as he did a couple years ago. Uh, I really feel like if I'm looking at this list, JC Jackson, I feel like he should be a little bit higher than uh, Stephen Gilmore because he's one of the most productive uh, cornerbacks in the game, even though he's changing teams. Marlon Humphrey, I feel like I like a little bit more uh, at this point in his career than Stephen Gilmore. And AJ Terrell, I think I like a little bit more. So my real issue, I don't have a problem with Stephen Gilmore being in the top 10. I just have a problem with some of these guys. I feel like some of these back half names are better than some of the, the, the top half names. Guys like AJ Terrell, Marlon Humphrey, and JC Jackson. So I just want to see how far down I have to go before I find names like Xavier and Howard, um, who to me probably should have been in the top 10, but he is there at an 8 on overall tie with Kendall Fuller. Uh, so, you know, there's not a lot of huge names missing. Uh, I have to scroll down a little bit. I can see Patrick Sertain coming 
coming in 83. And then Trayvon Diggs, which is a guy I'm sure a lot of Cowboys fans are wondering why he's not in the top 10 after I think he led the league in interceptions last year. He also, I think, led the league in yards given up, which could be why. All right, now we got the rookies. Derek Stingley was the first guy off the board. 93 speed, 92 acceleration, 93 agility, and a 77 overall. Really looking good as far as the rookies concerned. 78 man coverage and 72 zone also. 70 awareness, 76 catch. This guy looks like a pretty solid piece. He could start in regs. He's definitely going to be a good piece in franchise mode. But the guy drafted one spot behind him has a higher overall and a 78. He's also a 6'3", which really comes in handy. 92 speed, 94 acceleration, and 89 agility. That's going to be one small issue. I would say this guy's going to be much better in like a cover 3 or something like that. Something where he's covering deep outside and doesn't necessarily have to uh, run with a guy, break with a guy, because that agility is not that great. Stingley's probably going to be much better in man coverage. You can see the man coverage for Sauce is a, is a 76 and Zone is a 74. Next up, we got Trent McDuffie. 91 speed, 76 six overall 93 acceleration 94 acceler agility all pretty good uh he's also got a 78 zone and a 74 man next up we got kair elam i gotta love his athleticism 93 speed but his acceleration and his agility really falls off the map at 88 and 85 73 overall rated cornerback moving on to safeties uh top safety in this game is only a 94 tyron matthew and i've heard some people complaining that they don't think that tyron matthew uh should be the top rated safety to me he's one of the best playmakers he's a he's a guy that can play cornerback he can shut down individual receiver i mean to me he absolutely um he can play in the box he can play you know wherever he wants on the field so to me that versatility makes this guy definitely one of the best cornerbacks in the game and he's still um you know he's he's proven it year in and year out derwin james number two i don't have a problem with it because this is based off of potential but production uh, i don't know how derwin james maintains the second highest rate of safety considering he's been injured so much in his career um, so to me, that's something that it's like, you know, I don't know. Buda Baker, I don't think has ever missed significant time. I, I don't know how Derwin James maintains that. But, I mean, in Madden, you know, I definitely want a six foot three safety over Buda Baker. I think it's like 5'9". But Buda Baker's great, too. The top four guys in this, I really can't argue with. Kevin Bayard uh, is also a playmaker. The top four guys in this, is my, in my opinion, are playmakers at the highest level. Once you get after that, um, I, I think there's some really solid safeties here like Simmons, Mika Hyde, Harrison Smith, Jamal Adams, Jesse Bates, Jordan Poyer. Now, one of the rookies that I was looking forward to seeing the most was Kyle Hamilton out of uh, Notre Dame. This guy is a 76 overall. He's an 88 speed, which I feel is a little bit under, but he's six foot three, and that's probably the most important part. Uh, his acceleration is an 86. His agility is an 85. Those things are fine. This is a guy who could easily be a user safety, or you can let him play wherever he wants. I think 88 speed is just is fine. I'm not really happy with the acceleration and agility, though. That's a little bit on the downside. I wish they were closer to a 90, but ultimately, this guy has a 72 man coverage, a 68 zone. Next up, we have another safety from the Bengals. I don't know if they're preparing for losing uh, Jesse Bates at some point, but Daxon Hill, 75 overall, 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 96 agility. This guy here should be a really good player in a, in a, in a short time. Uh, 74 man coverage, 71 zone. Really good athlete and a really good option uh, for Cincinnati. And then last but not least, we got Lewis Seen. He's a 75 overall, 93 speed, 95 acceleration, but an 83 agility. So that guy here, change of direction is important. There's a reason I'm reading off speed, acceleration, and agility. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. We've got quarterbacks tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Let's out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.